Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys the... Oh, I can't say it. It was terrible to say. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the Grimoire of Gaia uh, mod. I'm going to show you guys how to install that for your Minecraft. Um, so first off, if you guys click on the link in the description that says <laughs> the Grimoire of, Ga Grimoire of Gala uh, mod, um, it's, it's basically the RPG mod for mobs. Um, you know, it adds a lot of mobs into the game. If you guys want to know actually what's in the game, all the different mobs and stuff like that, you guys can click on this link in the top left-hand corner. It'll take you guys to my mod review. Uh, it's tons of mobs, um, so you guys can fight them. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to install it uh, for your current version of Minecraft. Um, so if you just scroll all the way down here on this uh, uh, Grimoire Gala forum site, um, you're going to see this download right here. You're going to want to download the current version of Minecraft, um, save it to your desktop just like this right there. Um, now the second link you guys are going to need is Forge. So if you guys click on the link in the description for Forge, you're going to want to download the very top version. You're going to want to download the very uh, the universal version right there. You always want to make sure you download it and save the universal version onto your Minecraft uh, desktop just like that. So make sure it just looks Minecraft Forge like that. Um, now the third thing I'm actually going to show you guys how to install is Optifine. Optifine right there. Optifine is not required for this mod, but it is a really great mod for your Minecraft lag. It helps you guys out, and if you guys have bad computers and stuff like that, it, it is a really great um, addition to your game. It is compatible with uh, the Grimmer of Gala mod, and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Again, it's not required for your Minecraft uh, game. Um, so, anyway, once you guys have those things downloaded, um, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is go to Minecraft, go to Options, um, force update your game, click done, and log in. Now, the reason why you're force updating your game is because if you already have mods installed, I don't know if those mods are compatible with the Grimoire Gala uh, mod or Forge. Now, uh, quick note, if you guys have Mod Loader installed, um, make sure you guys are force updating because Mod Loader and Forge are not compatible. So if you guys have both those mods installed, you are going to get a black screen. Now, if you guys are getting a black screen, it's probably because you didn't force update your game and you're not following in the directions exactly like I show you. So make sure you guys always force update your game because I don't like it when you guys get black screens and I know you guys don't either. So I do recommend you guys back, back up your saves um, and uh, make sure you guys always force update your game and follow my instructions exactly like I do it. So once you, anyway, once you guys have force updated your game, make sure Minecraft is closed. Now, make sure Minecraft is always enclosed when installing your mods. So once you guys have downloaded those necessary uh, Forge and the Grimmer of Gala mod file like that, and if you wanted to, up to find, um, if you guys have also Forge updated, you guys are ready to install the mod. So now if you guys see here in the bottom left hand corner, it's going to say percent app that a percent. Now what you do with percent app that a percent, if you click on start and you type in percent app data, that's percent app data and another percent. Now you're going to see this roaming folder on the very top here. You want to click on the roaming folder there. Now you're going to see this .minecraft folder in the very top here. You want to open that .minecraft folder and you're going to see bin, resources, and saves here. Now you're going to want to open bin. So once you guys have bin open, you are going to see this .min you're going to see this executable jar file right here that says Minecraft. So if you try to open it, it's not going to let you. It's not going to let you. So if you push OK and you right click on Minecraft and open it with WinRAR, you are able to open it. Now you can also use 7-zip or any other kind of o file opener like that, but i show you guys how to use WinRAR. If you guys don't already have WinRAR installed or, uh, you know, ready, uh, make sure you guys download that from the link in the description so you guys download and install WinRAR, and then you guys can follow the video exactly like until you get to this point. So once you guys have the Minecraft.jar open with WinRAR, you're going to see this MedIn folder right here. You're going to want to click on that MedIn folder, right click on it, and delete these files here. Push yes. Make sure you guys delete that MedInf because if you don't, you will get a black screen because MedInf does not allow your mods to run. So once you guys have deleted that meta imp, you're going to want to open uh, the Minecraft Forge uh, universal version, and you're going to want to select all and drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you opened with our push OK, and you guys are done with the Minecraft Forge universal. Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine again. Optifine is not required for this mod. It is a really great mod for your lag, so if you guys lag, Op install Optifine is really great for your for your Minecraft game, and it changed my experience forever. So I'm, I always show you guys how to install it. So if you just right click on it, select all, and drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar with Renar, push OK, and you guys are done with Optifine. So you can close Optifine, and you guys can also close the Minecraft.jar that you opened with Renar. So if you close that, um, you're going to be back here where you open the Minecraft. Um, with uh, WinRAR, you're going to click back one. Now this is where you see the bin, resources, and saves. Now if you guys are lost, you guys don't know where I'm at, if you guys accidentally clicked out of this, um, the, the, re the how we got to this was percent after percent, then we went to the Minecraft, then we went to the dot Minecraft, 
Uh, no, no. <laughs> then we went to roaming, then to the Minecraft. So this is this is the steps right up here on the top here. Um, so once you guys are here, where you see bin resources and saves again, you're gonna want to add a new folder, and you want to call this folder M O D S, all under caps mods folder. Push enter, and you're gonna want to open this mods folder. Now, if you guys already have stuff in here, and you guys just didn't force update, make sure you guys delete all the folders in here. Um, so make sure this folder is empty, and you're gonna want to drag the Grimo or Gala mod right into the folder that is empty, and you guys are completely done with the installation, and you guys are ready to play uh, your Minecraft game so hopefully you guys didn't get a black screen um, that is you're completely done with the installation you guys are ready to play um, if you guys are having issues or problems uh, only thing I can tell you guys is truthfully just redo the video exactly like I show you uh, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that get black screens it's, it's because I know um, you know don't give up on it because I I did that for so long when I first started uploading uh, you know when I first started to download mods and stuff like that it, it was very discouraging um, but I, I try to show you guys as best as I can. Um, make sure if you guys are c confused, just go back and watch this video exactly like I show you. Um, if you are getting black screen, just force update and redo the video exactly like I show you. So hopefully you guys are doing uh, really great. Um, again, if you guys actually want to see what's in this mod, um, you guys can check out uh, this link in the very top left hand corner. Take you to my mod review and I'll show you guys all about what's in the mod. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, really like this video. Um, again, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to be part of the Blaze Army, make sure you guys are subscribed. I do a lot of mod installs and a lot of mod reviews on my channel, so it would be really awesome if you guys checked them out.